Hi everyone. 50 years of custom chrome is more than enough reason to celebrate. To commemorate this anniversary, Custom Chrome Europe has commissioned a stunning custom bike, built by German top customizer and parts manufacturer Thunderbike in Hamm in Köln, Germany. Premiered at Motorbike Expo 2020 in Verona, the 50th anniversary Custom Chrome custom bike will be presented at motorcycle and custom bike events all over Europe. Building a tribute bike is always a challenge, spanning the time of five decades even more. Just recognizing the different trends and styles of the last 30 years, when customizing individual one-off bikes reached never-before-seen levels in quality and technology, would be impossible to realize in one custom bike. Since Custom Chrome Europe in 1998 was set up as the European branch of the then Morgan Hill, California-based distribution company, it has encouraged its customers, professional and private builders from all over Europe, to realize their rolling fantasies, and during the last decades, many of these bike dreams have been forged into dream bikes. One of the long-time Custom Chrome Europe partners, Ham Inkeln, Germany-based Thunderbike, can also look back to a more than 35 years long history and has become one of the most active parts manufacturers and custom shops for Harley-Davidson in Germany, if not Europe. After building a considerable number of CCEs bolt-on and ride bikes since the program started in 2009, the team of Andreas Bergerforth was the logical choice for the challenge to create a fitting expression of half a century of custom chrome. As Thunderbike has already built an impressive number of custom bikes for CCE's successful bolt-on and ride bike lineup, they were the logical choice for the job. Andreas Bergerforth and his team not just have a reputation for excellent homologated custom parts, but a history of outstanding show-winning one-off customs that have scored European and World Championship titles, often advanced and superior in style and technology. The concept for the 50th anniversary custom chrome bike already reflected the attitude to catch the spirit of the 70s customizing and merge it with today's technology, and the need for, at least in the main markets of Europe, homologated parts. Thunderbike did not just deliver that, they built a truly outstanding 21st century ride that 50 years ago nobody would have even dreamed of. The project started with a stock Milwaukee 8 2020 model year street bob, powered by the 107-inch 3 version of the 8-valve motor, Harley-Davidson's answer to ever-increasing noise and emission rules not only in Europe, but in California too. That the new M8-powered softtail has become harder to customize is a factor that all the more challenged Thunderbikes are in D department, the custom chrome 50th anniversary bike is a visible proof of that. It is the first custom chrome Europe Milwaukee 8 with pneumatic suspension front and rear. Plus the front end is a pneumatic Springer type fork, homologated and with full functioning ABS. Thunderbike had developed the new Radical 2.0 front end when it became obvious that Harley itself would not return to the popular style they had reintroduced with the Evo-powered FXSTS Springer for the 1988 model year. The demand for a functioning Springer fork was coming from independent and authorized Harley dealers alike, and Thunderbike came up with a superb design that combines state-of-the-art technology with modern retro look. All who know Thunderbike's showbike history the 2008 European Championship winner Open Mind marks Thunderbike's boldest steps into developing super clean pneumatic front suspension. The rear pneumatic single shock comes from a traditional air suspension manufacturer, Sturgis based Legend Air Suspension. Both suspensions operate independently, raising the bike from parked position up to well beyond stock street bob riding height. This soft tail is a real rider. With many of Custom Chrome's own brands and even more of CCE longtime partners to be considered for having parts on this project, it was a difficult procedure to decide the final parts list. The stock spoke wheels were exchanged for Revtech's superb velocity design wheels, for not altering too many parameters of the rolling chassis, the wheel sizes of 21 front and 18 rear were retained. Shinko white wall tires add a touch of old school look. As usual, the Revtech wheels are supported by brake discs and belt pulley of the chosen design at the front end gripped by a four-piston performance machine radial brake caliper. The bodywork looks surprisingly stock, thanks to the use of the stock fuel and oil tanks, but front and rear fenders are both Thunderbike originals, the rear one perfectly fitted with Thunderbike fender struts to the stock mainframe. Thunderbike City Mount license plate and the new High Sider Proton 2 LED tail light, turn signal combinations add to the clean look of the tail end. The fitting single seat also comes from Thunderbike and offers long-distance capabilities. These will certainly be tested in the 2020 riding season, when the 50th anniversary bike will hit the road to many European events. Riding position is somewhat relaxed, thanks to a Santee Panger handlebar, raised again 1 and 1 quarter inch by a Thunderbike riser. The stock Harley-Davidson riser-mounted digital displays will certainly dampen the demand for other miniaturized instruments, 
as it is well known that Harley Davidson is following custom trends and reacting to them. A complete set of rebuff any hand controls and switches are mounted to the Ape. The Thunderbike Phantom grips are special made one-offs with distinctive 50th anniversary logo. The almost invisible LED indicators hidden under the controls, a Thunderbike part that exchanges for the bigger stock parts. High Sider Montana mirrors have been chosen to be mounted as the bike will hit the road soon. When introduced, the Milwaukee 8 motor, as every new Harley Davidson motor since the knucklehead, raised discussions about its abilities to be customized. Performance of the motor was rarely questioned, as the times of drag racing style duels at the traffic lights seem to be a thing of the past, both in the US and Europe, but the sound of the completely new developed V twin is always a highly discussed topic of Harley riders. The first to customize one of the new Milwaukee 8 touring models was the Arlen Ness team, which customized a brand new M8 quite literally overnight on August 23, 2016, when getting hands on a just introduced 2017 Electroglide. Within weeks, the Arlen Ness team had a full lineup of 10 gauge style engine and gearbox covers, including a much appreciated M8 rocker cover design that changed the look of the heads into a cooler Ness style look. Since Arlen Ness started his shop in San Leandro, California at the same time as Custom Chrome, the Ness dressed motor slash drivetrain is a fitting tribute to both brands, closely working together for decades. The Air Perform air filter is a new design by Bike Shop Lens, BSL for years well known for their cool exhaust systems, one of which is also delivering the fitting soundtrack for the 50th anniversary bike. Mounted is BSL's top shop staggered exhaust system, Euro 4 compliant, for which CCE will also offer a combined homologation certificate which will be valid for the combination of BSL's air filters and exhaust systems. This will simplify mounting the parts from Lens, Austria for all M8 powered softtails. Conception and design of the 50th anniversary custom chrome bike was the brainchild of then CCE managing director Andreas Schultz, working out the details with Andreas Bergerforth, always in cooperation with CCE's new products team and CCE corporate design manager Karsten Behrens, who developed the eye-catching 50th anniversary logo and sketch studies of the paint job. The final version was handed to Ingo Cruz, one of Germany's most renowned airbrush artists. With his usual attention to detail and devotion to quality, Ingo performed an outstanding paint job that is merging the style of early 70s Harley Davidson style with today's custom chrome Europe corporate design, and the favorite base color of European customizers, black. How advanced and sophisticated this anniversary bike really is, becomes obvious when thinking back 20, 10 or only 5 years, who would have believed that a dual air suspended rolling chassis would become an almost bolt-on option, ready to be mounted at any stock soft tail Harley. Air suspension custom bikes such as Thunderbike's Open Mind were expensive one-off creations that would cost six-digit euro numbers, now it's becoming mainstream affordable, not to forget the return of a superb Springer design fork for Harley's new big twins. Thanks for watching.